Eight years ago this week, a solar eclipse captured the attention of people around the world. Millions of people put on those special sunglasses and looked up as the moon passed between the Earth and the sun. Most saw a partial eclipse, but the lucky few who are in the path of totality saw a truly breathtaking view. Places like Weezer, Idaho, the Garden Valley and Sun Valley were in that path, which meant thousands of people came to the Gem State for a chance to see this historic event. And our team on that day, they're scattered across the state covering the eclipse in this week's 208 redial. We we'll take a look back. <laughs> Look at that vault, Brenda. Nice. Well, much of the country is getting ready for a solar eclipse on Monday. It's a concept very much understood here in southern Idaho. You remember this? We experienced a great total solar eclipse seven years ago, August of 2017. Cities like Weezer, Garden Valley, and Sun Valley were in that path of totality, and thousands of people flocked across Idaho to get a perfect glimpse of the total eclipse. It's very neat to see and in Boise it was a near total eclipse and our team was scattered throughout the state that day. Here's a look back at what we saw. It's like the sun is setting. OK, let's listen in. This crowd now has come to life. Ladies and gentlemen, totality has arrived. Oh, wow. Your I can. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Once in a lifetime. I think this is the most amazing thing I'll ever see. And I looked around during the totality and people were just jumping up and down. A few tears were shed. What did you think about the reaction of the crowd? Were you surprised? No, this is my third eclipse. It's <laughs> always this way. Seven eclipse. I've never done a live shot from the top of a Ferris wheel before, so this is a really cool first for me. A first coast to coast total solar eclipse. I'm having fun just like everybody else. It was amazing. Uh, no camera will ever do justice to that. It was magical. Uh, not to sound cliched, but the, the way the light just dimmed, the temperature got cooler, uh, and everything went silent. And then the sun, the moon moved straight in front of the sun, plunging us into darkness, revealing the corona. That was amazing. A solar eclipse happens when the sun, moon, and earth are all perfectly aligned, and the moon passes between the earth and the sun, temporarily blocking the sun's light, casting a shadow on the earth. So a total solar eclipse is when the moon fully obscures the sun. Of course, a partial eclipse means only a part of that sun's face is blocked. And if you missed that one, don't worry. NASA says another solar eclipse will happen in a little under a year. Space Agency is looking at August 12th, 2026, Total solar eclipse will be visible in Greenland, Iceland, Spain, Russia, and a small part of Portugal. And a partial eclipse will be visible in Europe, Africa, North America, as well as the Atlantic, Arctic, and Pacific Oceans. You remember where you were in 2017? I just remember as totality happened, how cold it got all of a sudden. What a memory.